fans, Dave Palumbo here for an RX Muscle news update. As you guys have seen floating around the internet by now, Big Rammy was in the house guest posing this past weekend, and uh, a lot of people were excited about it. You know, see Big Rammy up on stage. Obviously, we haven't seen him pretty much all year. We didn't see him compete. He forewent, I guess, getting on stage to qualify for the Olympia. Obviously, he didn't get a special invite to the Olympia. Didn't really ask for one directly, but kind of did, but didn't. We didn't see him at any of the uh, post-Olympia tours over in Europe. And, you know, there was some speculation that we would see him before the end of the year. But by looking at this guest posing he's doing here in Portugal, there's no way this guy is competing by the end of the year. This is not a good big Rammy. This is a big, big Rammy, you know, just... But big Rammy's always big. I mean, as is his moniker, obviously. But he's not a guy who is, looks like he's going to, you know, win the Olympia here. You know, he's got his big body parts, but there is some body fat on his body. He's holding water. He's not as big as we've seen him in the past. His upper body is certainly not as big. And I don't know if that was affected by his injury of the shoulder, if he's just maybe, you know, kind of not really ready to, you know, prime himself to get on stage. So, you know, obviously he might be on a lower amount of supplements at this point. The bottom line is Rami is not ready by any means to get up on any kind of stage. And he's handlers, I think, and as well as himself knows that. And he's not going to obviously embarrass himself. The next time we see him, he's going to hopefully be his best that we've ever seen. And that will be at the Arnold Classic, as he indicated to us um, via the interview we did with him at the um, Olympia Weekend. So I don't see any reason why he would try to get on stage anytime before that. The next couple shows are in a few weeks. Anyone who would think that he was in, in any kind of shape, even close to getting on stage, would be out of their minds at this point, knowing Big Rammy. Um, I think this is, he's at a good point. I think it was good for him to take the year off. It enabled him to kind of unwind from that poor Olympia showing the year before that, that uh, poor, I guess, presentation of what we were expecting to see up on stage which is a dominant big Rammy in shape and big, and he just wasn't that. And then obviously leaving Oxygen Gym and all the you know emotional toil that that involves because he had been with these guys for so long, and there was, you know, there was a long-standing relationship. So I think it was nice for him to kind of find, so to speak, a balance in his life. No pressure. We'll see him at the Arnold Classic at the beginning of the year. He's never won that specific Arnold Classic, although he's won uh, Brazil before. But... The bottom line is a definitive Big Rammy win okay, at this Arnold Classic would certainly raise his stock through the roof, especially considering the fact that we probably will see Sean Roden at that show, and we will probably even, you know, well, at least these are the rumors, we might see Phil Heath. More likely we will see <laughs> Sean Roden, you know, than Phil Heath. But, you know, a Roden-Big Rammy matchup would be tremendous. The last time they faced off, Roden won. So both of them missed the Olympia this year. This would kind of be the Olympia, uh, you know, showdown that we never saw in uh, 2019. So once again, very good showing for Big Rammy. You know, we see he looks like he's back on the path. It's nice to see him guest posing at a few shows. We'll have to see what 2020 holds. The other big story of the, uh, I guess, of the weekend would be uh, Jeremy Buendia, four-time Mr. Uh, Men's Physique Olympia champ. Uh, who skipped the Olympia this year. He had a bunch of, you know, crazy, I guess you could say, domestic <laughs> domestic uh, social media outings uh, over the past couple months. A lot of women came forward and said that he you know, physically and emotionally abused them. Whatever the case, you know, nothing ever happened. Jeremy was never arrested. You know, nothing ever happened. So we don't really, no one really knows exactly what happened except, you know, he said, she said. Jeremy, in the end, did not look very good. Um, he admitted that he had an anger management issue on this show, on RX Muscle. He also admitted it on his Instagram and apologized. And it is what it is. You know, obviously, he lost some sponsors along the way. He's trying to make a fresh, fresh start. And his announcement that he'll be going out to Oxygen Gym in Kuwait to train with those guys, with Abdullah out there, and the Oxygen Gym crew is an interesting move because we've never really seen a men's physique guy go out there. 
So I don't think we're going to, you know, he's he's wearing shirts that say, you know, he's going for, you know, five wins. And that's really, the, I think, the most important aspect of, of what we see. You know, he, he wants to win five men's physique titles. He doesn't say anything about going to classic or anything else. So a lot of speculation that he might go to classic physique is probably just that speculation. Um, he's looking to win five Mr. Olympias. And he has four already, and they were in the men's physique division. So he's fighting for five, and that's the, the moniker he's using, which is good. It's always good to have a nice slogan, and everyone always likes a good comeback. And it's, I think, a good idea for him to go to Oxygen, because it'll keep him out of any, any trouble over there. He'll be sequestered. you know. He'll be able to focus on just his working out and his business. And he'll probably come out of it a lot wealthier, <laughs> a lot healthier, and, and he'll keep himself out of trouble. And I think that's the case. Look, the guy's the most gifted men's physique athlete, I think, in the history of the division. You know, you might not like his personality. He might you know, have some issues he has to deal with. But physique-wise, I don't think there's anyone better. I don't think there's anyone better even competing today that can beat him when he's at his best. Now, he did have the pec chair. Um, can he get back to the level of, you know, what he had prior to that? I think he can. He's young enough. He's still under 30 or maybe just turned 30. So I think he doesn't have uh, time working against him yet. Once again, his presentation, his look is, you know, is what men's physique was defined as. So I think he has a very good chance of coming back. We reached out to him and he did give us a quote. Here's the quote from Jeremy. It's a good fit. They've been producing in the last several years. Abdullah and Bader believe in me, and I know Kuwait is a place I'll be able to focus and be 100% and give my all to the sport. And once again, that's a direct quote from Jeremy Buendia to us uh, when we reached out to him. So I think that that's, um, he obviously feels like that'll be a good place for him. You know, get out of all the drama of California over there, focus on his physique. Because let's face it, these shows are one on who's got the best physique. But a lot of times, when you get too much drama going on, even though you might have the best physique, your physique doesn't look its best. So if no one's talking about him and he's got no drama going on and no one's pointing any fingers at him and he's in his own little element over there, that might be the best way to be. And then he can come back, you know, if he wins as a champion and hopefully reestablish and, you know, rediscover him and reinvent himself. Look, George Foreman was not a, a well-liked heavyweight champion. <laughs> and then Muhammad Ali knocked him out and everyone was happy. And then George came back and reinvented himself and everyone loved him. And they still love him. So, you know, people like comebacks. And Jeremy obviously is uh, intent on coming back to the stage. A lot of people thought he was done. That, that, that was it. He did one four Olympias, retiring, going off into the sunset. But I, I had a feeling Jeremy would be back because he's still a young man. And there's no reason for him to stay away from the sport. So good luck to you, Jeremy, out there in Kuwait. And guys, um, hopefully uh, you're enjoying all the coverage here at RX Muscle. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, hit that like button. We'll see you back, I'm sure, tomorrow morning.